Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up default presets for your plugins or effects in Reaper. So let's add a plugin to this track. We'll right click over here, we'll go to EQ, and we'll choose the EQ plugin. This is the one built into Reaper. Now, one of the problems with this is that the preset that it opens up to is not how I like to work. For instance, there's only four bands set up, and the first band is set to a low shelf. Personally, I like to use high pass on a lot of tracks, but I don't want to have to create a new band each time. So we're going to set up a default preset so the high pass and a few other settings are already there. So let's change this low shelf to a high pass. This way I can just drag this up to high pass or low cut any of the sounds on our tracks. And let's change the bandwidth to about here. And this is how I prefer it. But also, when I start out, I want this band turned off. So I'm going to disable it. Now for the next band, band 2, that one I want to be low shelving. So I'll change it here to low shelf. So this one is a low shelf. I'm going to change the bandwidth right about here and set it to about 100 hertz. That's where I like to start off. Put the gain back to zero. Now band three can be a parametric EQ, like this. And I'll set it about here. Put this back to zero. And I'll do the same thing with band number four. I'll change this to a parametric band and set it about here, about 2.5 kilohertz. Put the gain back to zero. And now I'm gonna add a band to create a high shelving EQ. Add a band here and band five, let's move it up to here, is gonna be a high shelf. I'll adjust the bandwidth to where I like it, about here. Start about five kilohertz, it's a good starting point, and put the gain back to zero. So this is how I prefer to start off with an EQ plugin. But Reaper's default isn't set up that way, but we can change it. So once the setting is right, I'll go to this plus symbol right here and choose this option, save preset as default. If we choose this and give it a name, I'll call it start, now, every time I open this plugin, it's going to start right here. So let's take this one off, hold an option on the Mac or Alt on the PC, and that removes that plugin. And if we put that plugin back on, we'll go to Recently Used, choose the EQ, it pops up with my preset. Band one is a high pass. I could just turn it on and sweep and find the right frequency. Go to band five. Add some pretty top end. Add some mid range. Maybe cut some lower mid range. And everything is set up how I prefer to start, which is a lot quicker than starting from scratch or Reaper's default. And obviously, you're going to set this how you prefer. But once you get it set up for your preference, it's going to be a lot quicker to work with. Let's do the same thing with the compressor. Let's add a compressor here. Now by default, this compressor opens with the ratio at one to one, which means no compression. I like to start about four to one. So let's bring this up to about here, change the knee to be a bit more forgiving, a slower attack, but a faster release. Then I'll bring the threshold down a bit, adjust auto makeup gain, which is going to keep the gain on that track pretty consistent. And that's pretty much how I want to start. So every time I open this plugin, it's going to start right here. And then I can make my adjustments along the way. But it's a big time saver to at least start from this point. So we're going to save it right here. Save preset as default. I'll name it start. And again, we could delete it right from here. Open it back up. We'll go to Recently Used. 
choose the compressor, and it opens up with the ratio of 4 to 1, a slower attack, a quicker release, a more aggressive threshold, and auto makeup gain turned on. So again, it's much quicker to start out this way. When opening this plugin, it starts how we prefer. And this trick will work with any plugin. Every plugin could have its own default, so it opens up exactly how you prefer. Now, if you want to start over and not use this, just simply delete this preset. Go right here, delete the preset, And now if we delete it and open it back up, it goes back to Reaper's default. So that's the default presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, and I definitely hope you use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.